Hello, this is Vikramaditya Ghosh and we are going to understand machine learning. In this video, we are going to get inside the detail of gradient descent function, how the errors are reduced by gradient descent function, how they are used in artificial neural network, recurrent neural network, convolutional neural network and various other cases. Please watch. Good morning. So basically today our learning understanding is all about the concept of gradient descent. So what is gradient descent? Gradient descent is the reduction of error function in simple terms. So we will understand the reduction of error function or gradient descent through a lot of diagrams and with concepts in this particular video. The Python calculation is in another video. So first we will see there are three inputs x1, x2 and x3. Each of the inputs are having three different weights that is w1, w2 and w3. They are coming to one particular junction which is plus and then hopefully they are above the threshold function or activation function. That is why what is happening they are going to the next level h. When they go to h from there they ultimately generate the outcome the first outcome that is the y cap y cap y cap is the first outcome that is the initial outcome we are not saying that that is the final outcome then what is the difference that is coming out here is that we have to calculate the error that is coming out the error that is being generated so what is the error if i take my video lower you can see the error e so e is nothing but the error so what is e error that is the difference between y to the power mu minus y kappa mu so what is y to the power mu that is the actual outcome and y kappa mu is the predicted outcome so actual minus predicted as the error and that is the residual we are squaring the error and then adding the error as you can see there is a addition sign for all the arrays we are adding and then we are dividing it by half then this entire calculation is what is this mu mu is basically the intersect the row each of the row so this is the x1 x2 x3 data you can see where in a matrix form they are presented similarly y1 y2 y3 also is presented in a matrix form so where the currently the blue section is there blue intersection is there rather that is nothing but mu2 so the above one is mu1 and the second or uh, the third one is mu3 so that is the concept of mu mu is the uh, vertical sorry horizontal uh, threshold so now the next part let us understand the next part so the next part is the x1 with w1 weight x2 with w2 weight x3 with w3 weight now these weights are no predetermined and they are random in the beginning then slowly as a gradient descent happens the weights get shaped so we don't know what is the actual weight so some sometimes the weights are random 0 0.2 0 0.3 0 0.5 all those things okay so that gives us this y kappa and y kappa is nothing but the prediction and through the back propagation of error again and again this calculation happens and by back propagation of error the error is traveling from the output to the input and the error is getting reduced how the error is getting reduced that method is this method that is gradient descent so we now know that error is half of in a very simple form very simple form suppose mu equal to one in that case e equal to one half of y minus y kappa whole square where y is the actual at the end of the day calculation and y kappa is our predicted so actual minus predicted is the residual we are squaring the error here so basically we can call it sum sse basically sum of squared errors okay sum of squared errors but in this case summation is not there so this case you can call it as a squared error so now the next part the most important part you can see the gradient descent actually so we can see there are two axes. in the x axis there is the weight and in the y axis there is the e or error so the error 
when the weight is low the error is high then for one optimum weight the error is low then again as the weight is going up the error is also going up so we need to find that optimum weight how to find the optimum weight that method is we are reducing the uh, error by both sides by this side also and by this side also so the delta of this uh, omega or which is basically the weight or w you can call it so so this way this is coming down so error is coming down as the weights increase for optimum weight error is the minimum then as weight increases again the error increases so we need to find this optimum weight and for that we will try to get by trial and error that is why so many iterations so many epochs are needed in a artificial neural network or recurrent neural network or convolutional neural network or any kind of deep neural network where this output to input continuously the errors are being reported from the output to input by the feedback or the back propagation mechanism and the back propagation mechanism is forwarded by a uh, rather followed by a feed forward mechanism or forward pass mechanism which sends a revised signal and the error comes down in each of the signals so error goes then error comes down then again error goes then again error comes down like that you can see that in the python video when we will shoot that and that video will be after this so you can see how the error is coming down and it goes close to zero almost zero close to zero so this delta omega or delta w is equal to minus gradient why minus gradient because this is coming down so this is is this is called as gradient descent so in a fundamental way what is a gradient descent gradient descent is the weight we we are searching an optimum weight for each of our x1 x2 x3 how many inputs we have suppose we have three inputs x1 x2 x3 we need an optimum w1 w2 and w3 and that optimum w1 w2 and w3 are ultimately giving us the error which is the lowest possible error which is tending towards zero that is how we try to get the accuracy in a artificial neural network or any kind of back propagating neural network again i repeat the error gets reported from the output to input by back propagation the signal gets corrected and the corrected signal travels from input to output this entire process happens again and again again and again again and again and these are called iterations or epochs and by that we try to search for one particular gradient that gradient is extremely optimal gradient for which gradient the error is the optimal error where my cursor is right now that particular point we search for please watch for the next video because the next video is the python uh, work on actually showing you how to calculate how to showcase gradient descent thank you very much for observing this video if you like this video please share this video with fellow other students and other researchers subscribe my channel and please keep watching this space for more videos thank you very much